who's the most important person in your life? Today, we are going to share some tips on just how to impress that person. Keep watching! You had to put the headphones on so you could hear yourself. Yes. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Maybe it's the middle of the night wherever you are. And we are so thrilled to be back here in beautiful, dry Oroville. I know around the world all sorts of stuff is happening, but we are dry here after this monsoon of rain. Not monsoon, it's mon now. <laughs> it's mon now. So okay. today we are going to talk about, in a relationship, who is the most important person in your life? Oh, you're asking me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a loaded question. After 35 years being together, you still need to ask me? Of course, it's you. Ah, nope. What? Nope. The most important person in your life is you. Yes. So it's you, yourself, and I. I keep forgetting that this, this it, it, it's of such importance to my own self-care and self-worth. Absolutely, exactly. So today we're going to share the ways on how to love, value, and appreciate yourself. Beautiful, beautiful. When you appreciate and value yourself, then you can appreciate and value others around you. Mm -hmm. And you know how I start my morning? Every morning, I start by doing something physical. So I get on my cycle, I ride through the forest, I ride through the villages, and as I arrive, there is the pre-dawn, a beautiful orange hue of the sunrise. And just as the sun is peeking out, I dive into the water. And that is my meditation and my reflective practice for the morning. And it's so glorious. I absolutely love it. And what about you? Sometimes I join you in the ocean. Sometimes I stay at home. And when I stay at home that early in the morning, I usually do my own meditation practice. But part of it is also really important is writing in my diary. This is a form of self-reflection. And also, I get so lost in it in a way that spontaneous poetry comes out. So I have dialogues with myself, with my higher self and with myself. And as a result of this, going out early in the morning, taking photographs, writing spontaneous yes. uh, poetry, you produced a book. And as a matter of fact, you have it right here. It's called Light in Darkness. And this is a great thing to do, is to journal, whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the evening, but it's the expression of what it is you're going through. Whether it's joy, whether it's like, Ugh, anger, it doesn't matter. It's getting that out and onto the page, yeah? And when it's on the page, you see it more clearly within yourself. Mm -hmm. As you write it down, it clarifies itself for you and for the world outside you. Absolutely. And then also that brings in gratitude. Mm. Now, I have been doing this for years, and that's I have a gratitude journal. And I notice that when I don't do gratitude, oh my goodness, I am so Miss Cranky Pants. And <laughs> no, it's true. And the world around me just reflects that. And they're cranky as well. And it's this vicious, vicious circle. And so um, one of my mentors, Mary Morrissey, says that this is what was wonderful to do in the morning or any time, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. to say, I am happy and I am grateful. Mm -hmm. So when we say I am happy for something, what we are referring to within this context is I am happy that I have accomplished something that I set out to do for the day or for this week. And I am grateful we're thinking into the future of something that I would love to happen, but I'm thinking of it as if it has already happened. And so I'm living and coming from that quantum space of having it happened. And that is so fantastic. I it's, love that. It's the vision completed already in your mind. Yes. Because all things are created twice. Yes. First in the imagination, then not just in dreaming, but in action, it manifests in the world. But if we don't if we don't uh, complete something or, or we're struggling with it, perhaps these are lessons that we're learning, mistakes we're making. And when we oh, make yeah. mistakes, they are just lessons so that we can get over that hump 
and complete what we really want to complete. Without beating ourselves up. Without beating ourselves up. I am so good at beating myself up and unfortunately sometimes beating you up and people around me, right? <laughs> and it's great that we can laugh about it, but one of the <clears throat> things that we do as a cloud is we say, Ta-da! Ta -da! And hey, let's do that again. I like that. One, One two, two, three. three. Ta-da! <laughs> so mistakes are just lessons. They're learning opportunities. And it's a positive way to learn from your mistakes. So it's mm -hmm. a different form of reflective practice, right? Edison said that all his mistakes were just lessons. So he knew over 10,000 ways how not to make a light bulb. So this is Thomas Edison. Edison. Yes, very yes. edifying, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that was Girl. really bad. Okay. But I'm grateful and I'm happy that I came up with that. Very good, okay. very good, very good. And the other thing that's so important is to hug yourself, right? And especially during these times when we have all these restrictions of being far away and whatnot, so you just need to put your arms around yourself and give yourself a big hug and say, mm, mm, I, I love, love me. me. I love me. And you know, when we were in the Andamans, one of the most beautiful things that we did, well, we did a lot of beautiful things, but was we did a fun shop with orphans and we had all these little girl child orphans going, mm, I love me from right from four years old to 21 or something. With their little frou-frou dresses that made them look like cakes. <laughs> And we also had the CISF, the, the Central uh, Indian Security Forces, paramilitary people. Yeah, that were buff and, you know, in their fatigues. And can you imagine 44 men standing there, hugging themselves and loving it, saying, mm, I love, love me. me. <laughs> so we, we invite you to remember these five things. The first is to get physical, do something that is an exercise, yeah. then to express yourself through journaling, then gratitude. What are you grateful and happy for? And if you make a mistake, you do ta-da! <laughs> and then obviously, last but not least, hug I yourself. And me. Yeah, and when you hug yourself, you hug the whole world. And on that note, I know sometimes it feels like it's a little forced, but we want to laugh because it clears out our lungs. It sends out beautiful, positive energy to the whole world. So let's end this program today. And it's so great to be back here and have Stefano here behind the console and us, it's like old times, and let's laugh our way out. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!